Um, it's a name that resonates globally. It's well respected. It was very much filling a gap. So how do you set a data strategy? You know, what are the data orchestration considerations that you need to go through? But I think it's the Imperial course and the Simply Learn platform. I think they've hit a sweet spot. Ian Randall, I'm based in the UK, started uh, 20 odd years ago in my career. Um, I studied geography at the University of Birmingham. Um, and then after that was sort of trying to figure out what I wanted to do with it. Um, and it was actually working uh, a summer job in a warehouse um, for class, picking spare parts for all the farmers, doing their harvest, etc. cetera, um, that I discovered my love of supply chain and I was wondering, okay. And as a result, decided to go to Cranfield University to study a master's there in logistics and supply chain management. After Cranfield, I joined TNT Logistics on their graduate scheme and worked up and down the UK on a variety uh, of customers and contracts that they had and then got the opportunity to move over to Sharp Electronics, uh, help set up their KPI reporting, look at their supply chain efficiency. But then 17 years ago, uh, Shell came calling and they were doing a SAP transformation program, an incredible project uh, to be part of. And then six years ago, uh, just to change things up a little bit, moved into mobility, as Shell calls it, which is their retail function. And then a couple of years ago, uh, moved into an IT function, looking at courses and, and looking at you know, getting better at certain things. You get you get bombarded online. It was through you know a series of looking at everything from you know becoming a data scientist, coding boot camp, you know you name it. Um, there's so many offerings out there, but what particularly appealed to me with the Imperial Data Strategy course was it didn't just give you the nuts and the bolts and the how you do something, it actually allows you to take a step back. For me personally, I didn't necessarily have that strategic lens to what I'd done in my previous career. So it was very much filling a gap. So how do you set a data strategy? You know, what are the data orchestration considerations that you need to go through through any digital transformation program. You know, what have you got? Where do you need to get to? What's the investment? That if I hadn't have done the course, I wouldn't necessarily know about. And, but I think it's the Imperial course and the Simply Learn platform. I think they've hit a sweet spot in terms of that strategic lens, which the other courses don't necessarily have. Um, there's a great cohort of people. So on my particular um, intake that was about 50 people again I've set up some drinks in London we've met up we've discussed learnings etc I even know the stepping stones if I wanted to consider you know, the career how do I get to the chief data officer level it's an online platform there's video content uh, which you watch and absorb there's multiple choice questions that you have to do just to you know, sanity check have you really understood and digested the content which is great um, but what I found really powerful is the two-part assessment after each module, which is about six, I think, because it really forces you to drill down, to do your own research, to make sense of everything that you've heard. Feedback is is incredible. I've, I've never really had that level of feedback on an online course assessment. So, and obviously big shout out to Professor Christopher Chigi, who just, you know, I could listen to all day, uh, five hours flew by with him on digital transformation. So thank you again for that. I'm a proud dad, uh, a dad of two girls. I'm playing cricket at the moment in the English summer. Uh, I like mountain biking. There's a group of dads that we go out on our mountain bike. Um, and I'm also a keen squash player. And for the last five years now, I've been learning how to produce electronic music in Ableton, which is a digital audio workstation. Um, and I've had probably five or six releases. I think where we are at this particular moment in time, if you are not learning or upskilling, you are sinking, whether you realize it or not. Asking chat GPT a question is not bettering yourself. So, you know, there's a huge amount of courses out there. So whatever you're interested in, um, you can always find something uh, to learn and make you a better person.